PCR as an alternative for cDNA cloning. Like the genomic DNA, where we can amplify a specific target gene if we have a specific primers. So, like that, we can also amplify a specific messenger RNA by using a specific uh, primers. So, it is also an appropriate technique for cDNA cloning. RT-PCR, uh, it is basically a reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, which is commonly called as RT-PCR. And this PCR uh, has been used to quantify the expression of the RNA. So if appropriate primates, they are being provided, then uh, they can amplify the target messenger RNA and convert it into cDNA. So it is a very appropriate and good technique for the detection, quantification and cloning of cDNA. And here in, for in vitro reaction, we can uh, provide first primer that can join at three prime end, if you remember, that will direct the synthesis of first strand. And then after the synthesis of first strand, then second primer at five prime end it is provided that will direct the synthesis of the second strand of cDNA. And then it is ready for uh, cloning. Uh, RT-PCR it is having high sensitivity so that if you uh, will provide a population of the RNA. Population of the RNA means that it contains uh, transfer RNA and the ribosomal RNA in addition to polyadenylated messenger RNA. So it can amplify um, messenger RNA and convert it into cDNA with high specificity. Uh, so this is uh, one of the advantage. Although it is advantageous to clone to amplify uh, cDNA, but its uh, screening, it is relatively uh, laborious. Another problem is that when we attempt to uh, amplify the cDNA, if the stretch of the messenger RNA is very, very long, then it is not necessary that uh, all the sequences of the messenger RNA, they may be cloned. Sometime only a portion of the messenger RNA may be cloned, that will not represent the whole messenger RNA. Uh, another drawback of uh, RT-PCR is that uh, the reverse transcriptase or polymerases that are used for amplification, they are error prone. Error prone means that some mistakes may be there during the process of amplification. Or is ki wajah se, jo humare pa cDNA aega, to usme mutations ho sakti hai. So, is tarah ki chandik problems is mein hoti hain. And uh, finally, another problem may be that uh, when we attempt the extraction of the messenger RNA from a specific tissue type, then uh, genomic DNA may also be extracted. Dusre lafzu mein aap ye keh sakte hain ki extraction process ke dauran messenger RNA ke saath genomic DNA aata hai and it may represents the contaminants. So, messenger RNA, it is contaminated with genomic DNA. So, under such situation, genomic DNA, it may also be amplified along with cDNA that may be uh, problematic. No, uh, because of this reason, it is desirable uh, if we uh, use primers that can bind at different exons so that they can amplify um, messenger RNA in different fragments and on the other hand the genomic DNA it is amplified in large fragment that, that that can be distinguishable from smaller fragment of cDNA and if this problem it still persists then uh, the sample after extraction it can be treated with DNAs. Now this DNAs it can specifically degrade the DNA and we have the sample of the messenger RNA that can be used for uh, the formation of cDNA by using RT-PCR and that is now ready for cloning. So this is uh, one of the advantage of RT-PCR that 
we can also clone cDNA by using uh, this technique.